In this video, you'll discover how to edit text and headings within your website editor. Once you've logged in, click on the heading you would like to overwrite, click the heading and begin typing directly on the web page. You will see a toolbar appear which will give you the option of bold, italic and underline. You'll also have the option to increase or decrease the font size, alter the colour of the font, although we do not recommend this if your website has been styled in such a way that is consistent across your website. You'll also have the option to revert any formatting by highlighting and clicking the remove formatting button. You can align centre, left or right and you also have an undo button to revert any changes that you may have made. You can also edit other text elements on your website including subheadings and paragraph text elements. Simply highlight these in exactly the same way. You can highlight a sentence and bold, italic or underline that bit of text. You also have the option of creating a hypertext link. If you highlight the text you would like to create and turn into a link, click the create link button and select the pages you would like to link to within your website using the standard page option. You also have the option of creating a website URL link to an external website and we recommend you click the open link in new window option to ensure users remain on your website. You can underline text as well if it hasn't automatically underlined into a visible text link. To remove formatting, again highlight the text and click, click the remove formatting option and you can adjust this to suit the consistency of your website if necessary. Note that when you remove formatting the actual link itself does not remove. You will need to highlight the link and click the remove option. If this option doesn't appear, refresh your page and try again. You also have the option to drop and drag text elements and title elements onto your website anywhere you like. If you drop and drag this and overwrite just as you did before, you'll have access to the toolbar to bold, italic, underline, increase, decrease the font size and colour and the alignment of your font. Again, you can drag in a text element which will allow you to enter paragraph text onto your website. Just as you did before, overwrite the text by clicking and typing. You also have the option of copying and pasting font from somewhere else. If you do this, you must bear in mind that if you copy and paste the text, any formatting from where you are copying will be replicated on your website, such as bold, italic and colours. As we showed you before, to remove any of this formatting, all you do is highlight the text you would like to edit and click the remove formatting option to ensure your font is consistent with the rest of your website. 